Good morning everybody from my house in Palm Beach, Florida. I am home just for two days and I'm gonna bring you guys along on my day today. I have missed vlogging. I just got back from Boston yesterday afternoon where I spent a week and a half road tripping with my best friend and semester at sea roommate, Sydney, and we had a blast. If you haven't seen any of those New England vlogs, definitely go check them out. We had an awesome time. And I wanna make a sit down video about this, but recently I've been getting in my head about a lot of things, comparing myself to other creators, just like wondering if I'm even worthy enough to still be creating content. It's like the most wild stuff that goes on in my brain. It feels weird, but I took some days off. I'm like, do I take time off YouTube? I don't think so. I love talking to you guys, and I love bringing you guys on adventures, and even if the memories are just for myself and nobody watches these videos, I still love what I do so much. So I took a couple days off. I cut you some slack. Tell a friend to tell a friend. I'm back. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna stop quoting TikTok now. Anyway, I just woke up owning this cute little set from Amazon, The Drop. It's like this little bell, long sleeved, and little shorts. This is what I was wearing last night when my mom and I were lounging around. We watched four episodes back to back to back to back of Firefly Lane. I did not realize season two came out with a part two. So my mom's like telling me, oh, I just finished it. It was so sad. I go, no, she was. And I like said basically where episode nine left off. And she's like, no. And I looked and a part two came out in April and I had no idea or March or something like that. So we binged four of those episodes last night. Mom's like, I'll rewatch them. They're so good. So we ate Chinese food and watched TV. And this is what I was wearing. So I just worked about Anyway, it's 9 a.m. It's Tuesday. So I got home yesterday, Monday afternoon. And Wednesday afternoon, tomorrow, I am leaving to go spend the rest of the week and the entire weekend in New York City with my best friend from high school, Mackenzie. I am so excited. I haven't been in New York since 2019. She's having a whole birthday party and invited me up there. And I'm going to go see my college roommate, Madeline. And so I'm just very excited. That being said, there's a lot of stuff going on today. I'm an annual eye appointment to go get tested my eyes. I wear contacts and I pretty sure I'm going to need a new prescription because half the time I can't see. Okay, not really. That was being very dramatic, but I have to go get a new contact lens prescription today. That's at 11 o'clock, so it's nine, so two hours, but basically like an hour 45 till I need to leave for that. And that's the only official appointment on the agenda, but I have other stuff to do, but I'd love to go get a workout in with Maddie Giacomo, a little walk on the Peloton tread in the back room. What I'm going to do is change into a workout outfit and go get a sweat in, take a body shower, dry shampoo, this greasy hair, and then get ready to go to the eye appointment. I'm sure eat some breakfast. I'm working on a bunch of different things. I have to film some Instagram stories today, other stuff like that. Also thinking about filming a Celsius chat today. We'll see if I have time for that or if that's going to be a tomorrow activity. I don't know why I keep doing this with my hands, but anyway, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, subscribe down below and let's get on with our day. If you are new here and you didn't catch it, I am a full-time content creator. So this is probably a little bit of a different Tuesday schedule than you'd usually see from people. So take everything I do with a grain of salt because some people really Really don't like it but I love filming these videos. Here's this full outfit. It is linked on my storefront under two-piece sets. Let's get a jammies. Jammies? What? Let's get a workout outfit. First on top are these orange shorts. Also Amazon little biker shirts. So I'm just going to wear this orange outfit. You guys, I need to move out. I mean, I love my parents. My closet is overflowing here. Overflowing. Okay. So here's a little steady set we got. Okay, I'm in the orange set. This is also linked on my favorite sets on Amazon. I just, I just love these little sets. I usually like pull them up a little bit, but they're just so flattering. They fit well. They're like 30 bucks. So if anything happens to them, it's not like you ruined a Lululemon set. That's how I like to look at it. And now I'm just gonna throw my hair up into a crazy looking ponytail because I'm not leaving this house to go work out. So I don't really care. I guess you guys could judge me, but you won't. We love each other. We're family here. And that's the look to go get a workout in. These are the Teleties hair ties. I love these for working out. Not only do they hold my hair really well, but they do not leave any creases. So even though my hair is greasy, I won't have any creases in it. So let's go fill up my little Stanley cup. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna match that today because I picked the coral one last night. Cute, 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 cute. I'm gonna fill this up with a little bit more ice and water and then we're gonna hop on the tread. No deodorant, no perfume, no nothing because I'm just gonna hop right in the shower after. Is that gross? I don't wanna know if you think it is. Can you tell the temperature difference between outside and inside? Immediately, look at this camera fog. <laughs> I'm gonna fix this. Okay, much better. So we're in here, we're on the tread. My mom saw me come out, she goes, it's like, what? She said, I was just about to get on the tread. I was like, there is just no way. So I was like, oh my gosh. And she's like, no, you can go right now. I've got other stuff to do. So I said, okay, we're gonna find a Maddie class. Ooh, 20 minute Broadway walk. No, I wanna do half an hour. I think I'm gonna choose this 30 minute power walk because I haven't done a power walk in a while and I feel like this will be good for me after all the Pilates we were doing in Boston. And yes, I'm now a Pilates girl. I did two classes, Saturday and Sunday, my first and second ever class. And why didn't I try Pilates sooner? I just felt nervous to go back 
by myself. So when Sydney and I went together, I was like, okay. And then I, I'm a Pilates girl. I'm a Pilates girl. It's so expensive, but um, I freaking love it. So anyway, 30 minute power walk. I will see you guys after because nobody needs to watch me. Just absolutely <laughs> sweating and looking it so gross. Bye guys. Here, and you know what? Oh, that was a workout. I always underestimate those 30 minute power walk classes because the pop walking classes aren't so hard, but those power walking ones kill you. Look at this gross sweat on my forehead. Do you guys know what that means? It is shower and dry shampoo time and then, and then I'm gonna have a Celsius and I have to show you the funniest thing with the Celsius that we have right now. Um, I will have to tell you a little story once we go out to go get the Celsius. Here, ready? The camera's, I'm sure gonna fog up again. Ooh. Yep, if you ever want to know what Florida humidity is like, this is it. <laughs> I have showered. There's dry shampoo in my hair. There is moisturizer and sunscreen on my face. I put some mascara on. I just feel like a new woman. I've been stacking on these because I packed them up in my suitcase because Sydney and I bought these in Boston at Trader Joe's. And so when I was getting some of this stuff out, I was like, <gasps> these dark chocolate almonds with sea salt and this turbinado sugar. Holy smokes, I just made my mom try one. I've gotta put this away because I'm gonna eat actual breakfast. I've got T minus 20 minutes till I need to leave, so the goal is to make an avocado toast and have a Celsius and just kind of sit down and make sure that my to-do list is in out for the day. I have recently been doing this so much with my hands, but anyway, that is the goal. Let's go get a Celsius because I've been craving it. Guys, I really do think half the days it is the reason I work out because I drink a Celsius after I work out, so it's like a little reward. Hi, buddy. Come here, hi buddy. You wanna say hi to the vlog? Say hey guys. Let's go get a Celsius. Okay, so the funny story, Prime Day was last week, right? So I'm out of town, my mom's out of town, we're both shopping Prime Day deals. I see that my favorite thing in the entire world, Celsius, the 12 pack, is on sale for like $13. I said, you know what? It would be nice because my mom usually buys the big packs at Costco, so I just drink my mom's Celsius and like everyone's just always drinking my mom's Celsius. So I thought it would be nice to pick some flavors that we both like and buy some packs of them. So I bought three packs. One of them is yet to be here, it's the wild berry, it has not made it yet. My mom also saw that Celsius was on sale and she bought some packs. So now we are going to have five packs of 12 that we have both purchased from Prime Day. She bought sparkling lemon lime and also this BCAA blood orange lemonade to try out and then I bought tropical vibe Fuji apple pear of course that's my favorite flavor and a wild berry that is getting delivered today so I thought that that was so funny that we ordered so many of them but they turn out to be just a little over a dollar a piece which is completely unheard of in the grocery store and honestly I wish I would have bought more but that is a little funny story for you and I'm gonna crack open a celsius I'm gonna go wild berry today so we already have wild berry kiwi guava and orange in the fridge so wild berry it is for the day Ooh, that was an embarrassing childhood photo of me on the fridge. Good morning to me. Ah! Cheers, you guys. <laughs> Literally so stinking good. I love making my avocado toast on these. These are the Bay's English muffins. They stay in the fridge, so they're in the refrigerated section, and these are the sourdough ones. I'm not even like a big English muffin girl, but these are good. Cook one of those up. Mm. This feels a little firm, but I think it'll still work. Let's test. Moment of truth. Ta-da! This is also the best $4 investment known to man from Home Goods. It's just a little avocado saver. You put the avocado with the pit side in. In this, it closes, and then you don't have to waste Ziploc bags, and it keeps it nice and fresh. Also gonna use some feta cheese crumbles, and then I'm gonna get everything bagel seasoning and red pepper flakes. And here it is. Isn't she perfect? Oh, just literally a staple in my diet. Quick pick for my Instagram story. Mm-hmm. Can't go wrong. Could not go wrong. Breakfast was delicious, but now I'm running just a couple seconds late to get out the door for this appointment. So I'm just gonna throw on socks, shoes, and get out the door. Okay, time to get out the door. Okay, we're here at my eye doctor. I didn't bring a purse. I don't wanna be obnoxious and bring my camera, but maybe I'll film a few clips on my phone, but I'm gonna go get my eyes checked out to see if I need a new contact prescription. Just like my annual eye exam appointment. This may be crazy to you guys, but from here, I cannot read this line, like clear at all. So we're looking at it through my camera is wild because I was just asked to read this and I was like, I'm gonna make an educated guess because it's blurry and I know my letters, but that is wild. It's crazy because my contacts are, I can't read anything in this room right now. That's embarrassing, that's so wild. 
Okie dokie, that appointment went really well. They're ordering me trials because they don't have the exact contacts that I need because I'm kind of in between full and a half step. I'm at a quarter step, which I guess isn't as common, so they don't have. So they're ordering me some new trial contacts. I'm only really going up a quarter of a step in each eye so that everything is a little bit more crisp and clear. That's just good to know. It is now 11.46, so that didn't take long at all. And I am going to get back home because I've got a million and one things to do. I started laundry before I left, so I'm gonna definitely have to switch over some laundry a lot of editing to do I have some stuff to film some things to update so it's gonna be a very busy at-home day now I'm like oh my gosh I gotta wear sunglasses everywhere she's like your beautiful light colored eyes please make sure that you're wearing sunglasses all the time I'm like okay here's what I got in my car these cute little Ray-Bans so can you see how dark it is in here it is about to storm outside <laughs> good thing I got home from my appointment just in time I've also been doing laundry since I pretty much woke up this morning and I have my last little load that's gonna be done I had this brand new Hill House dress that I bought. I actually found it at TJ Maxx for 50 bucks. I didn't buy it full price, but it is, I think, on sale online for like $80, the nap dress. And the first ever time I wore it was when we went biking on Block Island, Rhode Island, so United. Literally within the first five minutes of the bike ride, the dress got caught in the brakes when I was braking and got black marks all over it. So this dress has now gone through the wash twice today after soaking and oh, all the stains are out. I'm so happy. Literally first time I ever wore the dress. That was so sad, but this is just like the most flattering dress ever. I think it's so stinking cute. Like I said, this is called the nap dress. I'm wearing an extra small. It's got this cute little ruffle piece here, and then I'm just gonna hang this to dry and steam it when it's dry. And in order not to waste an entire load of laundry, I did wash some towels with it. Okay, all the towels are moved over. And now that's my fourth and final load of laundry for the day today. It's now lunchtime, so I'm gonna make myself something to eat. I know we have salad kits and pre-made grilled chicken, so I think I'm just going to do that for lunch. I'm not really sure what I'm in the mood for. My mom also said that we have delicious ramen, so I might just take a sneak peek at that. Here's what I'm gonna do. This stuff is amazing. Buffalo Ranch Ithaca hummus. Some little non dippers and some of this grilled chicken and maybe some celery. I feel like that'll kind of get me through like a little snack plate almost. Do you hear the thunder that's happening? Oh my word, Florida in the summer. Like you're like, oh, I live in the sunshine state. No, we don't. <laughs> I could legit eat this hummus with a spoon. It's that good. I feel like that's a pretty nice serving of chicken. I've got some work to get done, so I'm going to go find my phone because I never know where I put my phone and snack on that little snack plate, lunch plate. I probably also have popcorn later because it's like my afternoon ritual when I'm at this house. It's just a little bag of single serving kettle corn. It's delicious. My room is currently a disaster, which is why I just don't want to be in there right now. I'm unpacking from the week and a half trip up in New England, and I'm also repacking because I leave for New York tomorrow, so it's just kind of a disaster. I am going to work on some stuff on my phone and eat this and just kind of try and get some stuff done while I have a little bit of downtime. Alrighty, I've decided that we're washing my sheets and everything. Actually, the sheets have already been in the wash. They're done. These are going into to the dryer and now I'm throwing in my little like mattress pad cover thing Ugh. this will be laundry loads six and seven can you believe that so much laundry to that now we're gonna be doing something so fun my taxes you're probably like Gracie it's literally not tax season anymore I submitted a tax extension back in April I just need to finish off all my write-offs as somebody who is self-employed and I do work under my LLC I have a lot of stuff that I got to go through so that is the goal to do today because my accountant's like come on Gracie it should not be taking you this long I'm like, well I have 37 pages of a credit card I've still yet to go through and um, but I have done everything else so I'm just gonna force myself to do that. I also have a video to edit. And when I was on my New England road trip, I need to pay tolls because I didn't have cash. They took these little toll receipts. So I've got to pay these online because they weren't showing up on the account last week. Okay, so I got the toll pass paid for New Hampshire, but I cannot get the main one done because it's saying there's a pass associated with the account, but I don't have an account. It was a rental car. And then I tried calling them. I was on hold for 24 minutes, decided to leave a message because that was the other option. And then there inbox is full so i don't know but i owe the state of maine six dollars in tolls and i can't figure out how to pay other than that my highlighting is done and i just need to input later today all of these charges for my taxes i need to go switch over some laundry and i'm doing 
pretty well. I need to also continue packing for New York, but I might do a little bit of that in the morning because I think I've pretty much packed everything that I want to bring, like outfit wise, and now I just need to figure out shoes, bags, and bathroom stuff. But the bathroom stuff will just kind of pop right back in from my last trip. It's now 4.45 and I'm actually pretty hungry. I definitely need a snack. I don't know if popcorn's really gonna do it for me, so I might do like popcorn and a protein bar or popcorn and something else, but popcorn does sound good. But chocolate also sounds good. Chocolate always sounds good though. Um, But today I've just been, you know, other than running around to that appointment, um, doing a lot of laundry and then a lot of stuff on my computer and a lot of like behind the scenes influencery work. I need to get stuff done today and I've been really good about it so far because I'm in New York from Wednesday to Sunday. It has stopped raining, which is a good thing. Oh yeah. This is the popcorn. This stuff is really good. This pop secret 100 calorie snack size kettle. I like kettle corn. Um, in my microwave, it goes in for three minutes and seven seconds. I don't like my popcorn burnt, but I do like it like a toasty brown color. So take that as you will. You know, it's stuck in my head, that TikTok sound. It's like, hey, my man, thank you to my man. I don't know why, but it is stuck in my head. <gasps> and my man, speaking of my man, <laughs> okay. I'm stopping that right now. <laughs> All right, so here's what I've decided. I'm taking a one hour break, one. I'm watching one episode of Firefly Lane because my mom and I started the part two yesterday and I have a couple episodes left. So I'm gonna watch one and then I'm gonna get to editing a video. I just switched over the laundry and then after that's done, hopefully it's gonna take about an hour for the show and then I'll remake my bed and get in it and start editing a video and I am blow, my gosh, my phone is blowing up with messages. That is what I'm gonna do. So I'm watching season two, episode 13 of Firefly Lane and that's it while I finish the rest of my popcorn. Sometimes this doesn't work for people, but for me, giving myself a little bit of break, I'll be even more motivated when I go to actually do the work. I'll feel refreshed, I'll feel ready to go. So that is why I'm sort of giving myself a little bit of a break this afternoon because I'm I'm pretty sure I've been sitting at my computer for the past four and a half hours or so. So I'm trying to give myself a bit of a break. It works for me. Do what works for you, but that's what works for me and that's what I'm gonna do. Okay, so I got this out of the dryer and I gotta put it on my bed, but I've got all this other stuff on my bed. So I'm gonna clear my bed and I'm gonna remake it. I'm just now fluffing off the sheets, which I had put in before this little pad thing. Um, but we're gonna get that done so I can finally cross that off my to-do list and then get on to editing. Also, it's much later because I've been on FaceTime with somebody, but my dad is coming home with Chick-fil-A. I got a grilled chicken sandwich and some french fries, and that's gonna be our dinner. So I'm gonna make this bed. I'll just speed it up. I've got the sheets out of the dryer, so now I'm just gonna totally remake my bed. You only make it feel like you could never leave. Do the same, we can't go back. This is all we need. Follow me to make believe and make your dreams come true. This night means forever and so does me. Okay, less than 10 minutes later, my entire bed is made. I just kind of threw my throw blankets on the end here because I'm going to be getting in my bed pretty soon. And so I just figured, why would I fold those up when I'm just literally going to snuggle into them? Just in time, I'll get out my laptop. My dad is home with the Chick-fil-A. So I'm just going to plug these in to get ready to edit. But I am going to get some dinner. Let's go see him. Does he have Chick-fil-A with him? Yes, Chick-fil-A, baby. Ready and hot? Oh, yeah. All right, y'all, Chick-fil-A haul. God, oh my goodness gracious. Lots of stuff in this bag. Napkins, fries, totally got knocked over. Large fry, not mine. Barbecue sauce, not mine. Medium fry, it's mine. Okay, well, I gave them the instructions on how to make it, just so you know. Okay, we got- It's wrong? It's wrong. Uh-oh, we got zesty buffalo. Oh, well, that's because Gracie put a special meal together that she has saved on her phone, which I showed to the gentleman <laughs> at the place. It's a grilled chicken sandwich, add pickles, and I change out the multi-grain bun for a white bun. Honey roasted barbecue sauce, my sandwich. And then my nuggets. Regular nugs for you. Mm, I only got a dozen, so I, think I was gonna go for the 30 count, but well, I she gave us so much mind. honey roasted barbecue. Yeah, they were slim. What'd that they get, what is this? Oh, lemonade? Yes, it's a Sunjoy action. Amazing on a little white bun and then honey roasted barbecue sauce because it's so good. Okay, we're gonna eat. 
Bye. Well, bonding time. Bye. We finished dinner. I'm having a couple of these chocolate almonds as I edit my video. I just had to plug in my computer, so it's kind of at a weird angle now. Oh, look. There's my computer. And I am just editing some vlogs. <laughs> So after a ton of editing, I have taken a body shower, my contacts are out, my teeth are brushed, I'm getting ready to go to bed. It is 12.17 a.m. I literally didn't even know it was past midnight. Holy smokes. Yep, it's definitely time to go to bed because I have a busy day tomorrow, but I hope that you guys enjoyed me on my productive day today. I got to see a little bit into it. I leave for New York tomorrow. My flight leaves at 3.45, so I have to finish up packing in the morning, finish up editing in the morning, and get a workout in, but I can definitely do that all before I have to leave at like 2 o'clock for the airport. I don't even get to the Palm Beach Airport too far in advance and it's only about 20 minutes away from my house. So I'm gonna get some sleep tonight and I will see you guys in another vlog. I love you. Good night.